A pleasant evening to you. Here's what to expect in tomorrow's headlines being the 23rd of August 2024. This is tomorrow's news today. Starting with our national news. Court convicts but frees six NSAS protesters detained since 2020. 4.4 million children in the northeast and northwest are malnourished says the federal government. Court bars the All Progressives Congress, APC, from conducting congresses in River State. Olukayo de Ariwola retires as Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, and says the Supreme Court is overburdened. I didn't appoint Bashir Hadejia as advisor on mining, says Dauda Lawal. Yaya Bello will be brought to justice. Local and international agencies are involved, says the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. 2,111 end-bad governors in Nigeria protesters have been arrested, while 1,403 have been arraigned, says Falano. Army probes killing of civilians and 100 cattle in Kaduna. Enugu demolishes den of kidnappers and rescues victims. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, blames failed promises by the federal government for latest strike notice. Gunmen killed 13 farmers in Niger state. In our business news, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, is considering reduction in landing fees to attract investors to smaller airports. Concerning Nigeria versus South Africa, both drivers have been stranded in order cancellation role. In tech news, regarding connectivity, the federal government is to begin 90,000 km fiber optic cable project within six months. In our international space, Ghana commences construction of 300,000 barrels per day BPD crude oil refinery. Nine persons are dead as migrant boats capsizes on Serbia-Bosnia border river. Sri Lanka court convicts president over vote delay. Finally, in our sports headlines, concerning the highest paid athlete, Ronaldo's YouTube gains 20 million subscribers in hours. Paris Saint-Germain PSG coach Louis Enrique plays down the prospect of more new signings. For more details of the news and more interesting reports, do visit our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Guardian Nigeria. I'm Ifunaya Okoli for Guardian TV. Good night.